Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to give you a what I eat in a day, super low calorie density, healthy vegan style with a focus on vegetables and making vegetables taste delicious. I've got three incredible vegetable recipes for you guys, which I absolutely loved by the way. But before I get into that, I just wanted to let you know I have got a 50% sale on all of my eBooks at the moment. I've got four seven day weight loss meal plans, one of which is focused on potato reset. I have got a North Indian cookbook with over 90 recipes and a sweet treat eBook as well. So if you wanna get your hands on some incredible low calorie density whole food plant-based vegan weight loss style recipes then go and check them out the link is down below but anyway let's get into the video Hi, <laughs> so if you don't know i'm in like a fat loss cut kind of stage at the moment and i've lost four and a half or like five pounds in the last two or three weeks and um a lot of that has to do with the fact that i've been eating so much vegetable like the, the vegetable quantity is outrageous that's how i originally lost 60 pounds as a volume eater so you can eat massive portions of food it's all about the vegetables so i thought i would give you a few very yummy vegetable recipes today and we're starting with something that i've been wanting to try for ages so for some reason today i have the desire to smash up a cucumber and get all my anger out on a cucumber we're going to be making smashed cucumber and edamame salad which i thought would be a really lovely refreshing um, and just like super tasty way to start the day. I am gonna be having this for breakfast before I move on to my actual breakfast. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's make this smashed cucumber salad. By the way, vegetables obviously don't have to taste boring. You can make vegetables as delicious as you want. It's just about knowing a few special techniques. So let's smash this thing. Okay, so I've never smashed a cucumber, but I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Oh, oh wow. That is strangely, strangely satisfying. So, oh wow, there is some magic to the smashing, by the way, which is that it opens up all of the crevices inside the cucumber to enable all of the juices and like the seasonings to actually penetrate into the cucumber. So then we're just going to roughly chop this up. I know, Rami, does this look super good already? Yeah. Yeah. And if you... I have some. Yeah, you can have some sweet pea. If you've ever thought about eating an entire cucumber and thought, oh my God, that sounds horrific. I think you would easily be able to eat a cucumber if you smashed it and put some really yummy things on it. So let's give it a whirl. I've also got some edamame to keep it uh, nice and filling, to add a little bit of a protein element as well. Obviously beans and legumes are super, super satisfying and fantastic for weight loss. So I always try and add them in when I can. And then we are keeping our dressing super, super simple today. We're obviously going for the Asian inspired. So I've got some soy sauce here. Do a nice little healthy glug of that. We've got some, oh, actually that's not rice vinegar. Hold on a second. I would add rice vinegar, but I actually don't have any. So I'm gonna go in with mirin instead, which is like a sweetened rice vinegar. So I may not need to add any sweetener, which is, I was gonna add maple syrup. So just gonna do a little bit of the mirin in there. But yeah, alternatively rice vinegar and some maple syrup. We're also going to do one little clove of garlic. Because Romy's going to be sharing this with me, I don't want to make it too garlicky. So we're going to... You want garlic, do you? We're also going to be smashing our garlic. That's my favourite garlic technique. And then just little chops. You can see how simple and almost a non-recipe this actually is. And those are my absolute favourite kinds. Okie dokie. Let's just give this a little mix and see if we need to add any more of what we've already put in. But it's already smelling and looking like, like a completely different thing. I'll just have a little try. Mmm. Oh my god. Yeah. If you're not looking for maximum weight loss, you can always add a little bit of sesame oil. But I'm going to do some sesame seeds instead. Put a teaspoon of sesame seeds in for me, Rosie. Yeah. That's perfect. Thanks. Sprinkle on, brilliant. Thank you, lovely. Yeah, you can do a nice mix. You tell mommy what you think. Mmm, oh, that is good. It's simple. Mmm, I could easily, well, I will be easily eating this entire cucumber. If you didn't want to have the water at the bottom, by the way, what you can do is you can salt the smashed cucumber and then squeeze out the water. I don't mind so much. And I'm also in a bit of a time crunch because we've got to go. So, mm, yum, love it. As with everything I do, unfortunately, I've got to go and take a photo of it before I can eat it. So I'm gonna go and do that. Okay, so think of this as my preloader before breakfast. 
So Romy and I are heading out in a second and I want to make sure I have actual breakfast and I have something specific in mind, which is like a, a cherry bakewell smoothie. That's kind of what I was thinking. So we'll make that right now. I'm going to go in with some frozen bananas. Then I've just got some frozen cherries and I'm going to do about one cup. So, so far we've got two bananas and a cup of cherries. Very simple. And then for our liquid, you can go in with water, but I'm going to go in with a bit of soy milk to make it really nice and creamy. I'm just going to do half a cup. And half a cup of water as well. Boop. So we're nearly there. Just a couple of extra flavour options. I'm going to do a bit of vanilla. Just a little capful. And the magic, which is where all the flavour is going to come from, which is this little almond extract. Now, this stuff is quite strong, so go gentle. Oh my God. Okay, that might have been quite a lot. Right, we're going to blend that and then see if I need any more. I may have overdone it. I'm really not sure. But yeah, super, super simple. If I had frozen cauliflower, you can guarantee I'd put some in, but I'm uh, running low on lots of shopping and I don't have any at the moment. Um, so you can beef it out with frozen cauliflower. You can put some soy yogurt or something in there. You could also add spinach. You could add some cocoa powder if you wanted it chocolatey. There's definitely a good way of mixing this up. Um, but I think we're just going to keep it simple today. Oh, that is delicious. Oh my God, that's the perfect amount of almond. I think Romy's excited. Are you excited, Roms? So it is quite a thick smoothie. It's almost, you could do it as an ice cream or a smoothie, really, depending. Oh gosh, it's getting everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's all over, mummy, isn't it, Roms? Okay, so there's loads more in the blender, but this is just mm, a little bit of it. You can definitely have a try. What do you think? Nice, yeah? Obviously, if you wanted it sweeter, you could add some dates, but I really don't think it needs it, to be honest. Mm. It's such a lovely and simple flavour combination. Is that good? All right, that's going to be my breakfast this morning. These two lovely low calorie density, super satisfying things. And then I'm gonna head out the door because, um, because oh my gosh, we've got to go. Romy and I have been out for the last couple of hours. We've come home and she's getting quite hungry. So we're having a little picnic. It's not super sunny, but I thought we could just enjoy time in our, well, our garden is actually very messy and full of everything that was in the garage because the garage conversion is currently underway and i think they're going to be finalizing it in a couple of weeks time we're just waiting for like the door we're going to have like big bifold sliding doors leading to the garage which should be very exciting um and i'm uh, yeah i'm looking forward to really like kitting it out and turning it into a gym so that i can do at home stuff and like show you a little bit of gym workouts anyway super excited but i want to show you what romy's having really quickly i keep like lunches, so, so simple for the kids. They don't need complicated lunches. We've got leftovers. I always like to try and make as much leftover as possible. And we've got, I have what have you got, baby girl? Carrots. Do you remember what that was called? Is it potato lasagna? Yeah. Yeah. Potato lasagna, cake. And what about that one? Cucumber. Yay! <laughs> so I made so much potato lasagna a few days ago, so we've been eating that. And then just a bunch of fresh stuff for Romy, and that's, that's really going to do the job. I thought of a really fun um, veggie salad thing that I wanted to make. It's like um, a broccoli Caesar salad. And I was going to do crispy chickpeas. I was going to kind of bake the broccoli and the crispy chickpeas in the oven, but I don't have any chickpeas. So I'm making some rice anyway, and I thought I might do crispy rice topping, like almost like a rice crouton. Obviously, they're very tiny and like kind of sprinkle that on top of the thing. So anyway, that's kind of my concept. I've got the rice cooking at the moment. I'll make it when when I when I when I kind of get hungry. But anyway, um, I'll let you know when I do some eating. But currently not hungry. I had a nice cup of tea. And Romy and I are just chilling and I'm really trying to listen to my hunger fullness cues and not eat because it's lunch time or anything. I'm just trying to eat when I actually feel hungry. But anyway, the rice is ready and I'm getting hungry. So we're going to do a broccoli, broccoli, what is it? Broccoli slaw. No, not broccoli slaw. We're going to just do a creamy broccoli salad. So let's get into it. Obviously, we're going to need some broccoli. As you guys can probably guess, broccoli is one of my favourite vegetables of all time. And I eat it basically every single day. Romy sometimes has trouble cutting her broccoli, so I've taught her how to like cut it into little baby chunks. 
Oh, good job, Ramsey. That's perfect. You can keep your broccoli raw and crunchy, but I am wanting it toasty. So I'm just gonna stick it in the oven to get it nice and, you know, that lovely. I don't want it too squishy. I'm wanting just like a nice little toasting. I'm gonna do a bit of salt on here, along with some onion powder and some garlic powder. Just give it a nice little toss together. You want to give it a toss together, do you? Give it a lovely little mix. So we're obviously not going to be adding any oil. Oil is the highest calorie food on the planet. It's 4,000 calories per pound. So even if you do a couple of tablespoons, that's hundreds of unnecessary calories. Like that's basically the same amount of calories as this broccoli. Okay, now I'm just going to pop this into the oven. So my preference would have been to do a tin of crispy chickpeas, but because I don't have any, in place of the chickpeas, I'm just going to do some brown basmati rice and I'm just going to lay it out and hopefully it will crisp up and we can use it as a nice like crispy topping. That's my thought process anyway. And we're going to add a little sprinkle of salt on here. So I'm just spreading this out as much as possible so the rice isn't kind of on top of each other and you want you want a non-clumpy rice for this. It'd be very hard to do with the sushi rice. Um, so anyway, that looks all right. So I'm just going to stick this in the oven as well for our crispy topping. So we're wanting a creamy dressing, so I'm going to use a mixture of tahini and also Greek style yogurt. I think the contrast will be quite nice. Um, so we're going to keep the tahini nice and light and we're just going to do a nice tablespoon of tahini. And probably the equivalent of about two tablespoons of our Greek style soy yogurt. I'm going to go in with a nice healthy pinch of garlic salt. Juice of half a lemon, it's quite a big fat lemon. To add a little sweetness, we're going to do a little splash of maple syrup and then just mix that around. Let's see what we're working with. Okay, I'm also going to add in a bit of onion powder, which Romy thinks is... Romy thinks that's hilarious and she's very excited about the onion powder. And I love adding a little nooch into everything for that extra umami, kind of cheesy-ish kind of vibe. And then we mix it. So what we're looking for is a nice thick creamy dressing you could do all tahini you could blend up some cashews but i wanted to slightly lower the calorie density by adding in the yogurt okay see how that's super nice and thick it's actually yummy mm. I, I eat yeah you love it rums Woo. okay we're finally ready to assemble because i'm getting hungry this is our broccoli nice and just slightly toasted as you can see Gonna pop this on our plate. Yes, I am gonna eat this entire platter to myself, by the way. Oh, that already tastes so good on its own. I wanted an element of sweetness, and I know a lot of people go in with like raisins or cranberries or something, but obviously those are slightly higher calorie density, so I thought I would go in with some nice apples for that sweet touch. And then I'm just gonna top it with our creamy salad dressing. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely divine. And last but not least, our piece de la resistance is this crispy rice. If you haven't tried crispy rice, it's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you the crunch. Can you hear that crunch? It's so good. It's so good. For all of those people who are commenting on me chatting and eating with my mouth open, I'm so sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> That's just how I eat. So if you don't like it, then um, I can't change it and I apologize. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do some nice little crispy toppings on here. Just a couple of handfuls should do. So that's like a nice, probably half a cup of rice there. And there we go. A gigantic, incredibly delicious broccoli salad. Boom. Mmm. Oh my gosh. There is so much going on here. Like the flavor, the texture, the crunch of the apple, the crispiness of the rice. Mmm. The broccoli is cooked to perfection. It's not too like smushy. Mmm. Wow. That's incredible. And I haven't even used all my dressing. It's about half the dressing actually. 
Um, so this is pretty low calorie density and high volume, as you can see. So obviously you can add some chickpeas, you can add more rice, you can add other stuff to make it a bit more filling and satisfying if that's what you want. I'm not even super, super starving. Um, so I think this will be absolutely perfect for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, you get to eat this entire massive plate of food, pretty low calorie density, so much veggie goodness. I'm thrilled with that. Ramsey and I are heading out to go and pick up Abe, but also we're going to go and play in the park for a little bit beforehand and take a ball and just have a little run around. Although my glute is still not fixed and I actually went to the physio yesterday and it is like sciatica. Um, so thanks for everyone who kind of recommended that. But yes, I've got some exercises that I need to do four times a day and it is still painful to walk around, but uh, that doesn't stop me obviously. When you've got kids, you just can't stop. Finished my salad, it was absolutely delicious, but I'm in the need of some more starchy goodness, obviously. Um, I got ball. You've got you got the ball, have you? I got ball. Are you ready to go, Boo Boo? Yeah. Yay! So for more for more starchy goodness, I've got this pre-baked sweet potato. I've got like a massive Tupperware full in the fridge. I'm just gonna eat this whilst we're on the go. It's a great grab and go little snack, and I like it cold because I feel like it's kind of extra caramelly that way. But anyway, we're gonna head out. I'll see you for dinner. Mm, good job, sweet beans. Okay, it is dinner time, and I was trying to think about how we're going to incorporate veggies into tonight's dinner. It's gonna be in the form of cauliflower, and I've been craving something. We bought some artichokes a few weeks ago, and I've been craving spinach artichoke dip. So that is what we're gonna make, and we're gonna make the sauce out of cauliflower. So let's do this. It's gonna be quick and simple because I don't have a lot of time before dinner, but I think this is gonna be such a great, delicious way of having, basically, it's gonna basically be an entire bowl of vegetables, all right? And we're gonna dunk things in it. And I'm super excited about eating all the vegetables in a creamy artichoke dip. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. I think this is gonna be amazing, right? got our cauliflower it's gonna um what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna just boil this cauliflower now i would naturally do a combination of cauliflower and silken tofu that would be my preference i don't have any tofu actually at the moment james is going to the chinese shop um to get some um so in as an alternative i'm going to go for some cashews but you can either skip the cashews you could go for white beans if you have some again i don't have any of those or you could go for silken tofu, or you could go the cashew root, which is what I'm going. There's so many different versions that you can do, um, which is, you know, pretty pretty nice to have lots of different versions. Um, so we're just gonna shop this up real quick. My kids are properly starting to get to that age where they're playing together and they keep on playing games with their babies and it's just super cute, but they can be occupied sometimes for like half an hour, which, is mind blowing. Anyway, we're gonna cook this and I'm actually gonna cook it with, in order to soften my cashews, I'm just gonna cook cashews with the cauliflower. So it's a quarter cup of cashews in with an entire head of cauliflower. I made some chickpea cookie dough bark yesterday, which was like a I gigantic thing. Have a bite. Yes, you have. But anyway, that I just wanted to show you that real quick. And the chocolate isn't chocolate, it's blended bananas and cocoa powder. So if you want a recipe on this, let me know and I can make it for you. I was thinking about making like a three amazing sweet treats, super healthy style. Anyway, that's the cooking bar. It's very nice. That's for the kids for the moment. Actually, I was having a think. I'm also gonna add a potato into the cauliflower mix just to make it like super creamy and just like give it that luscious cheesiness. So just one little potato going in with the cauliflower. So for the rest of the dip, I've got half of a white onion and I've got two little things of frozen garlic, which is basically just garlic. And I'm gonna heat that up to be like kind of the base of my artichoke spinachiness. Obviously water saute, of course. So I've got this tin of artichokes. I'm hoping that one tin is gonna be enough. I made this ages ago. Oh, I love good artichoke. So I'm just gonna slice these artichokes up into little, little slivery chunkies. We've got cauliflower, vegetable, spinach, veggie, artichoke, vegetable. Actually, my husband James the other day came through and he's like, there's no such thing as a vegetable. And obviously being me, I'm like, don't be ridiculous. There's so many vegetables in this world. Apparently everything that you think is a vegetable is actually something else. Like a broccoli is a flower, a carrot is a root, and there's like loads of other things. But basically there is no such thing as vegetable. It's just a culinary term and not like a scientific term, which, um, 
freaked me out because obviously I love vegetables and I talk about vegetables almost every single day. So there is actually no such thing as a vegetable, you know. So I've got my lovely caramelized sauteed onion and garlic, which just goes to show you do not need oil to get things nice and caramelized. I'm just gonna add in my artichoke now. The kids are pretending that there's spiders and bees everywhere, so I'm sorry about all the screaming. But I just like to, I just like to freeze my spinach in order to make it last longer. So I've got a bunch of frozen spinach. I'm not quite sure how much, maybe like two or three cups. I'm just gonna saute this down with a pinch of salt. Potato and cauliflower cashew mixture is all nice and ready. So I'm just gonna bung that into a blender. This is gonna make quite a lot of cheesy sauce, by the way. Then we need a few like standard cheesy things. I'm gonna go in with garlic salt, but you can obviously do salt and then garlic separately. I might add garlic in as an addition anyway. There we go. Nutritional yeast is a must. Nice healthy glug in there. A little onion powder to like get that cheesy flavor. I'm gonna go in with the juice of one lemon, half a cup of soya milk, and then we're gonna see how much more liquid we actually need. Probably like another half cup of water. And I'm just gonna blend this first just so I kind of like check the texture. And then I think that's it. You could, oh, let's add some miso. Like I've mentioned recently, I'm obsessed with miso and I've been adding it into absolutely everything for that lovely umami flavor. And that is it. I'm just gonna blitz this up and see what we get. Let's see what we have got. Oh my gosh, well, it's super creamy. Mmm. Yes, that tastes really good. Wow. Look at that creamy, like cheesy goodness. Okay, okay. I'm already excited, but I'm more excited to marry these two together. So let's just let's oh, let's just do it, shall we? I don't think I'm gonna need all of this. I think I'm gonna do like half the cheesy sauce. Yeah, that seems about right. So you now you've got some extra cheesy sauce that you can play with for something else like a like a pasta or a lasagna or whatever you fancy. Oh my gosh, look guys. Uh, is this exciting to you? Because this is very, very exciting to me. Look at that. Holy muffins. Okay, we're gonna have a little taste. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is good. That is super good. Wow. I want something crispy and crunchy with my dip and I was trying to figure out what to have. I could have some like vegetables or broccoli or something, but it's very vegetable heavy already. So I thought I was going to go with some quinoa wraps, but I haven't soaked any quinoa. So I'm going to try an unconventional method whereby I don't soak the quinoa, but I just blend it up in the blender and see what happens. So let's see if that works. I don't know. I think it has worked. I'm optimistic. And here I was soaking quinoa for most of my, well, the last couple of years, when I maybe didn't need to. This could be like a game changer because I love these wraps. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this up super simple. I've got my three slightly burnt quinoa little wraps. And on the top, I'm going to be putting healthy, healthy dollops of my artichoke dip. And I'm also just going to have some carrot and cucumber crudite on the side. There we go. Super simple, vegetable heavy. Let's give this a go. Obviously, you could make the tortillas into little chips and just have it like dunking, but I quite fancied it as almost like a pizza. Hmm. That is immense. It's immense. Mm. Anyway, the babies and I are going to go outside and have a little picnic. Finish this up. I'll let you know if I eat anything else. So I'm sitting here having an internal battle with myself because it's my hunger fullness cues versus my taste buds. <laughs> and it's really hard. This is, and also like, I just don't want to be wasteful. And this is not really something that's gonna keep properly. But basically I had my crudite and then I had two of them and I'm like, I'm full. Like I don't need any more food, but it's really hard not to eat it because it's so good. And like, like I said, how am I supposed to keep that? Like it's gonna go all soggy and stuff. But anyway, but I was trying to, I was trying to like think about like the pros and cons of each thing. I was like, yes, it would be wasteful. And yes, it would be tasty. But at the same time, what are my goals here? And does it matter if I throw it away? Like it really, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna try and keep it and see if James will eat it later when he comes back or something. But 
Basically, I was trying to weigh up the pros and cons and I realised my goal here is to get leaner and to listen to my hunger fullness cues. That is the most important thing that's going on right now. So that is what I'm going to try and honour. So I'm going to put this aside, but it's really hard to do. Like, I know, you guys know, it's hard to honour hunger, hunger fullness cues when something is delicious and you don't want to waste it. You know, like, I feel it, I feel it. Anyway, I'm going to put it aside. Is my point. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. If you guys are facing that issue today, do it with me. Put it aside. Listen to those hunger fullness cues. Honestly, your body knows exactly how much food it needs. We just need to learn to listen to it. Anyway, it was so delicious, super, super good. My kids don't care about their dinner at all. They are chasing woodlouse around the garden. They had chips, quinoa wrap, carrots, cucumber, and the cheesy sauce, but they've barely even touched it to be honest. <laughs> oh well. Yes, arms. I have been busy working away for the last few hours um, and I am not hungry in the slightest. So I just wanted to hop on today. I'm having no more food. I'm glad I stopped when I did. When you have the nighttime nibbles, that is something that can really derail your weight loss progress and keep you in a plateau or, um, you know, end up, you can end up gaining weight if you are in the habit of nibbling at nighttime. So I've been really trying to focus the last few weeks um, on not eating after dinner. So I really try my best not to eat after like, let's say six o'clock, five, six o'clock, which is when I have dinner. And then I just feel so much like fresher and just like clearer and just everything. I just feel better when I wake up in the morning and I don't have loads of food sitting in my stomach. And you just, it's a nice way to start the day. And also it's just unnecessary to eat when you're not actually hungry. Obviously if I'm hungry, I will eat. Um, but anyway, just really trying to honor my hunger fullness cues and focus on not snacking after dinner. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I hope you go out there and make vegetables taste incredible. Let me know if you have any amazing vegetable recipes um, that you think I should try, because I love vegetables. Um, but yeah, have a good one, and I'll see you later. Bye.